Hello Jason, this is for you from Beyond the Realms. From Beyond the Realms, uh, two Beyond the Realms from Warren is here. This box specifically Warren here. Here's my rather belated video response to, well, response to uh, your 3rd of March um, 12 review of Tree of Life. Here's my little response. Belated, I know, but I've only just managed to get around to actually buying it because nowhere in my local vicinity had it, period. Uh, and online it's only just becoming reasonably priced, only just within the last week or so. And that's only DVD. So, okay, I've not seen it on Blu-ray, admittedly, like you have, but I, I won't let that impede my uh, opinion because I watched my DVD on a very small screen, so I was able to pick up on the resolution which the director intended. Um, I was able to watch all of it, none of the images cut off to the left or the right. It was uh, it wasn't a pan and scan uh, DVD or monitor. Uh, so it was cool. Hang on. I might have to cut back here because it might start raining in a minute. But well, hang on. You can't see me now. But uh, anyway, I'm going to walk to the park, the lake in the park. Excuse the fact that you can't see me anymore. But you should be able to hear me. Um, Jessica Chastain. Right. It was a colour. It was colour. I watched it on a colour monitor and on a 6.1 Dolby surround system. So, you know, OK, it was only a small screen, but I was still able to enjoy it. Uh, fabulous sound. Uh, fabulous. Now, the movie itself. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Jason, that it was about life in general, about simply... Uh, as, as you say, life, uh, the acceptance of uh, life and death and the way it works, uh, evolution, we're born to die, we die, we die to be born, uh, in, in, but it, 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 didn't re it didn't touch on the spirituality side, it kept, it was grounded, I thought it was grounded, it kept itself grounded within the realms of uh, religious neutrality, which was all the better for the film, I thought, Jason. I thought it was great there that, that, that Malik uh, kept it grounded in, in a reality of sorts, to say grounded, because as you say, it was way out there. It was absolutely, totally original, like you say. I agree. It was, even now, uh, all this time after it, it, it's been made, uh, I still think uh, nothing's been made like it. Uh, as I say, even now, after all this time, um, after it's been out, it, it, it ran quite like a documentary type, uh, like a surreal documentary, yeah? Quite like a surreal documentary, let's put it that way, I thought. Not quite a documentary, not quite a surreal narrative type film arty farty film because it was like um, because it was still docu style because it was quite still choppy I thought um, so it, it didn't remain in the realms of a movie like a surreal arty farty movie because it was still quite because it was quite choppy so that's where it fell I think in the in the middle somewhere in the docu docu movie type uh, right in the middle of a documentary in a movie. I thought, I thought it was, yeah, I did think it had a narrative like you. I thought it did still have a narrative. Uh, so it was grounded. It was still quite grounded for its style. And it kept a narrative. As you mentioned, it still had a narrative. Um, I thought Sean Penn's character was... 
the father of one of the parents, and I didn't get on to that, that he was the elder version of, uh, of Brad Pitt's character. I didn't get on to that. Now, I've only saw it the once. Uh, I watched your uh, video again just before I've come out now to do this, and that's... Oh, shit. I'm going to get... Uh, yeah, I'll have to rewatch that. Uh, I didn't get on to that, but I did get on. I did like the end uh, uh, where he walked through a wooden construct to look like a doorway, Sean Penn's character, and then only then that he saw the image. He saw the boy. Uh, it must that must walking through the doorway. The other side of that doorway must have represented. Uh, the afterlife of sorts, if you like. Um, it was still very surreal, wasn't it? It was, got really surreal. Uh, even, uh, well, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 it was. It still had a narrative. The narrative was still running through that scene, so I will, I'll still say that it was still quite non-spiritual as a whole, a film, yeah. Uh, it must have been hard, I thought. I, I think it must have been hard for Malik to have stayed away from going into the spiritual way out there, and I mean really way out there. Uh, I think it must have been hard for him. To, he must have had to pull the reins there. Uh, to still keep that narrative running through the entirety of the movie. I was, I thought, what I thought was uh, how awful it would have been to have gone to the cinema to watch that. Yeah. It was like, I did have to pause it once or twice. Uh, admittedly, I did. Uh, didn't miss any of it, though. I came straight back to it. But I did, I thought that. I enjoyed it. I I got on to Jessica Chastain, the actress, from being in The Debt, the movie The Debt. I've recently seen that. I've recently got. I've recently bought that on DVD, and she's in that with Sammy, Sammy, our Sammy Worthington, our sexy our Sammy Worthington, um, and I liked her in that. And I've seen that a few times. I've, I actually like that movie as a whole, uh, and. As I said, I've only just seen The Tree of Life now, and the minute I saw her, the actress's face, I recognised her from the death. And I wouldn't, have, if I'd have seen The Tree of Life when it was out, I wouldn't have recognised her at all, because it's the only thing I've seen Jessica Chastain in, is the death. Uh, I don't know, is she English? She's not, is she? She's like Swaziland or something, isn't she? Uh, I don't know. Uh, she's got an English look and f no, she doesn't. She actually, she has like a, an Australian, South African type face, doesn't she? Uh, without sounding like bigoted there. Uh, all right, Jason, you see your face now. Better. Wait, I'm only coming out now uh, to do this. I thought, uh, I thought it'd be a bit of a cop out if I did it at home. Yeah, just did. Uh, what else about the movie? Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I did, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I was watching it because I, my, my neighbour looks a spitting image of Brad Pitt and it was a bit, and it, it was uncomfortable for me to watch it because of that, because I don't get on with him. Um, I've, n I've known him for over 20 years and I've never had shared a sentence with him. Uh, I don't like the guy, uh, but he's got Brad Pitt's eyes. Um, and. I've never liked Brad Pitt because of, I've never taken to anything he's been in Brad Pitt for that reason, I, I know. Uh, but as I say, I watched this film thoroughly and I did enjoy it. Uh, I did enjoy it and I was able to get into Brad Pitt's character just the same. But it was uncomfortable for me to watch it, the whole movie because of that. Because of the resemblance that of Pitt and my neighbour. Uh, I'm going to walk back around. Uh, let me see how much time I've got left. 
the sound. We've got about 10 minutes. Uh, I think. Uh, I presume, you know, it was the eldest son who died, Jason, yeah? And that's only because I saw at the end of the film, uh, where I say earlier, where Sean Penn walked through the doorway and saw the, the eldest lad running ahead. I presume, it was, I presume it was one of the lads who died in the beginning, and it, be, and it being the eldest. Uh, did they divorce? Did they separate? Or do you think Brad Pitt was uh, making that up or contrived the transfer at work to separate from his wife? Do you think they separated? They did, didn't they? Because um, she was all alone at the beginning, wasn't she, when she received the letter from the mailman to say of the news? They se they'd separated, hadn't they? It was just a nice way of them separating. He, he created a nice way of them separating one, didn't he? Didn't he? They did separate, didn't they? Uh, I come from a family of three lads. I'm the middle lad. I'm not the eldest out of the three of us. I could relate to it only in that respect. Because I come from an English family, you would have got more out of Jason probably because simply because you come from an American family. I presume you do. You were born and bred in America, in an, Ameri in an American state. I presume you were. I didn't really get that much out of it. Um, Apart from just, but I didn't have that kind of social activity, interaction with my brothers like they did in that movie. Not at all. We, us three, were very um, reclusive and did our own. We all had our own individual threat friends um, right from the get go and right through 10, 11, 12, 13, through sexual maturity. We all did, us three. Uh, those three looked like they were. Night, uh, a different type of unit, yeah. Um, they they uh, they gave each other energy, whereas me, us three, we never, we never, we we kept our own and uh, different, different. We gave it to others and let others give it to us. Uh, whereas those lads were look different. Uh, my parents uh, separated as well. But at a younger age, I was only five, and I've been in the middle at the elder. My elder brother was younger again than the eldest lad in that movie. Uh, so I can't really relate to that either, because, as I say, my parents divorced uh, when we were younger than when their parents separated. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I can say about this movie. Um, Um, I'm trying to think. No, I, I couldn't relate to it in, in regards to that because I come from an English family. Uh, different type of housing. Um, um, the father was Indian for a start. Um, so we had the racial thing uh, as part of our background. They were three white lads. Uh, they went to a barbecue, didn't they? That was the only exposure to any other uh, skin colour on it at this barbecue. The father took the three lads to on it. It was uh, that was the only other exposure to skin or race, wasn't it? At that barbecue. I enjoyed that scene about the barbecue. I enjoyed that. Uh, what was going to say then? Oh yeah, as I was watching it, I was wondering. Uh, Malik avoided rainy scenes. I think there was only one scene where it was slightly wet when the mother was taking them uh, to the shops. Uh, it was slightly damp. Uh, I like the scene where you can cl might clear this up for me, Jason. Uh, you know when on another trip when the mother was taking the kids to the shops, were they, were they prisoners? Uh, they walked past where the mother gave a flask of water to one of them. Could you help clear that up with me? Were they prisoners of some kind? Um, was it set in the 50s, this movie? 50s, 1950s America or something? You could clear that up for me, Jason. Could you clear that up for me? I'm curious. Uh, there are no special features on the DVD, man. So, um, I, I, I could, I'll, I might Wikipedia it, but I'm not in a hurry. If you could uh, help clear up some of the background to that in regards to the fact that it's a, it was an American family. If you could sort of like detail me in regards to that side of it. Because uh, I, I'd be, uh, I'm interested there. I couldn't really relate to any any of it. 
but I did appreciate it and as a whole I did enjoy it I watched it right through uh, Sean Penn I thought god he's old now isn't he and that, that's, that's about fa two years old that movie now isn't it he's fucking old I remember him from being in like way back when he was shagging Madonna <laughs> it, I've not seen him in anything since um, fuck he was old in that Look, mate, I'm, I'm off and out. I've got to go and get my, my tea anyway. So I've had to walk around back and forward where there's light here. Otherwise, you're just not going to see me, man. Uh, right. I can't think of anything more. My camera's going to run out. Um, so I'm going to love you and leave you, Jason, at Beyond the Realms from Warren and Sears Box. Over and out. Hope you enjoyed that. Get back to me. Tell me what you thought. Cheers.